Hi there, Tracy from Kazadar's Equestrian. Welcome to this week's video where we have a bit of a look at how can we tell when our horse has expressions whether they've either got their game face on or their pain face. How do we recognise pain in the horse? As owners, we often leave it until the pain becomes acutely obvious. So we've got a sudden lameness or something really obvious, some big behavioral pattern. But by then, the horse has probably been uncomfortable in, in um, less pain for quite a while. So ideally, we can identify these pain um, responses quicker this is hard, right? Because horses can't speak. Um, so they give us various signs to show that they're unhappy. But of course, these signs can also relate to um, irritability, um, confusion in ridden work um, and groundwork and all different sorts of things. So we need to work out how to specifically recognize there are horses in pain. The last, um, probably the last seven or eight years, science has actually been working on studies to start to put down some clear guidelines as to what your horse can exhibit in their face when they're in pain. Not only that, they're actually put together some ridden ethograms, meaning if you're not sure what an ethogram is, go and have a look at my video on ethograms. Um, but looking at what behaviors under saddle really do indicate like a subclinical lameness or some kind of pain and discomfort. Today, however, we're just going to look at their pain face and go through some of the expressions and things that you may see that will indicate that your horse is uncomfortable or in pain. Now, um, we've probably seen many experienced horse people who can take one look at their horse's face and say that horse is in pain, that horse is uncomfortable, that horse looks a bit depressed, they don't look right. These days we spend a lot less time around our horse as well, so it can be more difficult to come up with a defined pattern to decide whether your horse is showing you pain in their face. One thing to remember is that as a prey animal, a horse will hide its level of pain as much as it can. And in fact, donkeys are even better at it. So by the time you see this on these animals, you may really be looking at something that you need to start investigating. So the idea was to come up with some kind of guideline that um, was a little bit more subjective about what visual expressions the horse is showing relating to pain that can be used by both professionals and horse owners. Documenting this is really quite recent and the studies only began around 2013, 2014. But one of the first things um, that was developed was the equine grimace scale. And this identified particular facial expressions that were common across horses that were in pain. This scale um, discusses stiffly backwards ears, um, tension around the eyes or the orbital space. A strong um, chin, which sounds bizarre, but go and have a look at your horse if they're ever in pain. And also their chewing muscles, very tight, a lot of tension in the jaw. And you can imagine if you've got a migraine or, or some kind of pain yourself, the first thing you do is you squeeze and the, those um, eye muscles tighten and your jaw can clench. So the horse does something quite similar. So how can we get a little bit more specific to really be able to identify whether your horse is in pain? As I've said many, many times before on many of my videos, if you don't know your horse is normal, then actually checking what the change is in these expressions is going to be more difficult. So start observing. Let's look at ears to start with. A horse's ears, if they're in pain, tend to get a little bit wider at the base as those ears drop slightly down to the sides of their head. Um, and this is in stark contrast to the fully alert forward ears. So while the horse is in pain, you'll see the ears maybe move, moving asymmetrically um, and definitely lower than that alert 
pricked ear. Now you'll still see that, but the moments of them being lower and asymmetrical start to increase as the pain increases and their time um, alert and forward with their ears is reduced. Now what do we look for in their eyes? Um, quite often you can actually see a horse just be a little bit stare-like and withdrawn. So they're just staring and looking a little bit glazed over and looking completely withdrawn. This absolutely can be an indicator of pain. But some of the more, um, I guess, subtle signs are the tightening of the muscles around the eye, which will actually make the eye shape look a little bit angled towards the top. If you're getting that shape in your horse's eye, it should normally be quite rounded. It means really they're giving a bit of a frown and it can be a pain response and the nostrils. We've seen the nostrils before um, change in many ways, but they do certainly become dilated and they actually take on with pain a bit of a square type shape, which is very different to the snort shape, which is much more round. So instead of, so instead of those sort of elongated nostrils we've got, you're going to get this little flare with tension which gives you that sort of square rectangle type look rather than the elongated oval. So these are just some minor things to look at and they've been described in a lot more detail. Um, and I'm gonna put some links below for you because there are a couple of things that I wanted to discuss on here. In 2015, there was quite a detailed document that looks at the equine facial action coding system. And that goes through all of the intricate muscles in the horse's face and what that does to produce this pain response. And this is giving us, I guess, a guideline to be able to look at your horse and look in a lot more detail as to whether some of those muscles are tensing due to pain. It's quite long um, and it's quite thorough, but I'll put the link to this. It's a um, publicly access free document to have a look at. And anyone who wants to recognize pain in their horse, I suggest has at least a um, glance at this document. The second thing I've found, which is fantastic, is an equine pain and welfare app for your phone, both iPhone and Android. I had a quick look at this and it's terrific. Sure, there could be a whole lot more details in it, etc., etc. But the idea is that to find out whether your horse is in pain, you really need to stand and just observe for two minutes. And when you download this app, and I will put a link to this one as well, when you download this app, you can start a timer. And every time your horse, for example, moans or, or, or does another facial expression, you press a button within this two minute timeline. And once you've um, gone through that with the two minute observation, it then takes you on to other observations about the horse and then you can actually record some of your horse's pain levels. So if you're not sure, this is a really good way to um, record something and then refer back to that one that you have logged and recorded and look the next day to see if the pain is getting less. I think this is a really, really helpful guide. So that's just a beginning on us trying to work out how to identify pain in the horse. I know they can't talk, but they try very hard to tell us. Um, and I'll start looking next at what are some of the ridden things that you can see to indicate, even if your horse isn't overtly lame, these are things that you can look at that do indicate that your horse is in pain or discomfort. Thanks. Um, don't forget, please, to subscribe to this channel. Click on that notification bell so that you get notified when I release a new video. Um, share this around because everybody needs to know how to identify pain in their horse and I will see you next week.